Hall of Fame, man. Eric Bischoff. Um, did one ever imagine a dream in a million years that um, Eric Bischoff would be getting the call to step inside the Hall of Fame, not with the NWO, but on his own? Um, Eric Bischoff, he got denied. What do you think about that? Yeah, you know, I was I was a little surprised by it because I think that I remember a year ago when the NWO was first announced as they were going in, I said, "Hey man, cuz cuz you've you've felt a certain way before, or at least you've made your your opinion known about Bischoff's qualifications for the hole." And I said, "If there's ever a time for Eric to go in, it'd be with the NWO." Lo and behold, I didn't know that it would take a pandemic and pushing the Hall of Fame back a year for Eric Bischoff to go in the same class as the NWO essentially. But um look, if you look at what he was able to do, even if it was for 83 weeks, uh, Eric Bischoff bringing in the NWO, signing Hogan, Macho, going live against WWE, it, it changed the business forever. And it helped ignite the spark that set the uh, wrestling industry on its most popular run of all time, that 96th and 2000, 2001. It, it was due in large part to what Eric Bischoff did as the executive vice president of WCW. So... Off that alone, I, I, I see him more credible than other people who've, who've been inducted. So I, I think that he I think that he cemented his place there. I do. What do you think? Well, you know, um, I, I got to look at it from, you know, several different perspectives. You know, I always say, you know, the um, getting into the Hall of Fame is, is normally, for me, the body of work. Right. One has... Um, you know, put in over the, over the years, and uh, Eric Bischoff, he's the guy who started at the you know at the bottom and then worked his way up, and you know became you know president of the company. Uh, how, how did that happen? You know, still beyond me. Um, but you know, that's just that, that we in America. Uh, that's just the way things happen. Um, being in the right place at the right time, just having you know that that you know it factor um, that you know perhaps they needed back then. Um, he was a, a, a really good. Um, businessman as far as you know, overseas deals and stuff like that um, as well. So Eric Bischoff, definitely, uh, you know, pretty smart guy. Then um, we moved to the part where Eric Bischoff, um, not just, you know, the boss, but becomes a character on the show. Okay. Um, Eric Bischoff was a character on the show for quite some time. Okay. From the NWO run, all the way to pretty much the end. Um, before that, Eric didn't do a whole lot on television. Okay, um, not that not that I I can recall. Can you recall a whole lot that he did on television before that? Before before uh, the NWO stuff. NWO. Yeah, no. I mean, other than his just being an announcer, um, and I think he was like the third, fourth string announcer for WCW. So yeah, I don't remember him doing any character work prior to the NWO. Exactly. Um, and then, um, so he played the character from that part, you know, until the end of the company, uh, was run. Um, and then, um, WWE hired him as a character, um, he played a character over there. And then as well as they hired him as a, um, executive as well. Um, and so charges SmackDown. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm in between on it, uh, honestly, man. So, uh, I can't really, you know, I, I don't, I don't have a vote, you know, who, who who gets in the Hall of Fame or not or anything like that. Um, is his accomplishments, um, you know, uh, uh, excuse me, his body of work um, mount up to Hall of Fame um, stats? You know, I don't know how we're measuring those stats, uh, honestly. You know, be honest, you know, because when I look at Hall of Fame. In 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 the, in the wrestling business, I look at Hall of Fame as the wrestling. Okay, uh, okay, you got your celebrity wing. Okay, sure. those guys don't wrestle. Okay, but normally, I don't know. Just about everybody that goes in the Hall of Fame, they wrestle. But there's there's been exceptions to that rule, right? I mean, Jim Name Ross. Okay, Jim Ross, you know, Gene he's, Oakland. He's, what Jim Ross is, he's been a he's been a pretty much a character on the show for fifty years. So yeah, but he's been a, he was an he's announcer. Like say, for instance, Jim Rome, 
getting the Hall of Fame induction because of what he contributed from that aspect in the business for those amount of years. Yeah, but 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 that's my point. My point is certain people will go in based off you know what they if they okay J- in their Jr. Roles. Jr. Okay, give me a couple more. I mean, I, I'm thinking mainly of announcers, but Gene Okerlund's another name that comes to mind. Now let's 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 not think about guys that have been on the road working on a a, a yearly basis doing that job. Well, Bischoff didn't do that. No, but he was a like I say, Bischoff was the executive for the most part. He's okay. Okay, let's just put Eric Bischoff's. Uh, I'm like I said, I'm not taking Eric Bischoff out of the Hall of Fame or anything like that. I'm just trying to figure out what you know get us to that point to where someone like Eric Bischoff gets into the Hall of Fame. Wait, I mean, I'm trying to think of people who've gone in who have name me five people, just name me five guys who haven't been wrestlers that that have not wrestled. That's in the oh, just okay, name me in in the football Hall of Fame, name me five. Football in the football hall of fame. Name me five people that's in the football hall of fame that didn't get on the gridiron and play. Yeah, I'm sure there's some. I I, I couldn't tell you the five. Name me I'm five not- basketball, you know, you know, hall of famers that's in the hall of fame that did that did not get on the on the on the court. But, okay, well, let me ask you to go back to the wrestling thing. What about Teddy Long? I see Teddy Long's name in the chat. Teddy, Teddy Long's Long. a referee and then Teddy a manager, Long. Teddy Long, general manager. And Teddy Long is, has been a character on the show for many, many years. Um, but, he, and, but he filled the same role that Bischoff did in for WWE. He was an uh, on-screen general manager. But that was a character. That wasn't a real job. But Bischoff was a character on the show. No, but he, but, but he was an actual executive. In it, yeah, I mean, toward the latter portion, but wasn't he just the GM? When he came to WWE, I think he got hired a couple of times. He did. He did get hired a couple of times. Um, so someone said right here, and I don't know if this is true, but apparently Sylvester Stallone is in the Boxing Hall of Fame. So Sylvester Stallone is in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That's what someone in the chat just said. I'll verify. I I, I I would not. I, I would I would beg to, to differ. Let me see. Let me see. For, as for Sylvester Stallone being in the Boxing Hall of Fame, you know, I I, I, I don't know if that's true. I'm about to look it up. I mean, but, but I, I, it's not like I don't understand your point. Um, no, yeah, he was inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame in 2011. Maybe because of the movies he did. You know what I mean? The Rocky. Maybe because uh-huh. of the Rocky series. It was. Uh, um, yeah. He was inducted in the same class as Mike Tyson and Julio Cesar Chavez. Well, I That's mean, crazy. I didn't know that. Well, like I say, name, give me another one. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. With it. Well, I'm, talking about, head, I don't know. I'm talking about whoever it was in the chat. Name one more. Give me, like oh. I say, give me five. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out. I mean, but, like but I say, there's a celebrity. So should there not, should, so if you don't, I'm just asking, if you don't lace up your boots at least one time or, or your body, of, or you're not a guy who goes up and down the road working in the ring, are you saying that you shouldn't be eligible to be in the Hall of Fame? Know what I'm saying? Like I say, um, you got guys like. like, like let Teddy. me. I'm just thinking, like, what about what about like referees? Like, could referees be in the Hall of Fame? Could could ring announcers be in the Hall of Fame? Uh, Howard Finkel's in the Hall of Fame. There's you know, refer- referees could be in the Hall of Fame, um, but it's got to be. It's not going to be your your average referee that just came through and did a few shows. You got to. It's got. It's got to be, it's gotta a, be like Dave, Hebner, a Hebner, Hebner, a Dave Hebner, or something. I mean, like Earl. Yoda. Like a Keo, exactly. A guy that's been around forever, a guy that put up the ring like a Mike Kyoto, um, and worked in that company for what 30 years. Yeah. Um, as, as, as with that from the outside looking in, you see that guy, he's just reffing, you know. But that guy is on the road, he's 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 one of the most intricate parts of the show. Um, it, 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 and he's got to be good at what he does, otherwise. He don't stick around very long at all, you know. So it's um, like I say for me, it's I guess just the um, I guess the generality of you know guys you know that's been in the biz just working from a certain perspective as far as Hall of Fame go. That's just you know that's just why I take it. Yeah, um, I'm just looking at the Hall of Fame, just seeing if there's anybody who stands out. Mainly, it's announcers who've gone in who haven't been wrestlers. Whether it be Gordon Soley, Howard Finkel, who we talked about a little bit ago, um, 
let's see, I'm trying to think, is there anybody with either the celebrity wing? Mainly it's wrestlers. I will say that. It's mainly wrestlers, as it should be. But I don't think that that should be the sole qualification, you know, to be in a wrestling hall of fame, right? I mean, I, I get that, sure, it should be. But, you know, what about what about somebody like, um, what about somebody like uh, Paul Heyman? Paul Heyman has done a whole lot for, for the business and, you know, from a, a certain perspective, just say ECW, um, being a character on that show in ECW. Like Bischoff? Yeah, but totally different. Um, totally different. Like I say, Eric Bischoff was the boss and interjected himself into, you know, a, a company. You know what I mean? Um, Paul Heyman, it was his company. He was running it. He was like Vince McMahon being on his show uh, back then. Should Vince McMahon be in the Hall of Fame? Of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because he's the one that created this whole thing um, that we're doing. Um, so so it's up for debate. Um, we got to take a break. Stick around. We'll be back in a minute. Jump! Welcome back inside the Hall of Fame, guys. See, everybody, you know, got something to say, man. Everybody want to weigh in on the... Uh, Eric Bischoff um, topic, and, and there again, guys, I'm not saying take the Hall of Fame induction away or anything like that. I'm just trying to figure out the criteria. Okay, I'm trying to figure out, you know, um, you know where we're going here, and where is it gonna, you know, um, go go in the future. You know, how do I get a vote? <laughs> you know, what I'm saying that's what I want to know. Can I get a vote? I'm a <laughs> broadcaster now. You know what I mean? I should be able to weigh in. On you know who gets in and who don't, you know what I mean. Let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. I have two more questions for you. Would a guy like the late great uh, Jim Crockett, you know, would Jim Crockett be a name that should go in the Hall of Fame? Now, yes. Now, yes. Okay. Um, if we look at Paul Heyman and we look at him just as what, not as anything else, just for his ECW run, would that be qualified for the Hall of Fame? Just for what he did in ECW, I, I think so because man, my brother, we we never worked in WWE and we got in. Um, it was it was our accomplishments, it was our body of work. Now there was a guy who I'm sure you're familiar with who was a part of the legacy inductees uh, in the same year you went into the Hall of Fame with your brother, Jim Barnett. Jim Barnett was never a wrestler; he was just a promoter. I don't know if he was ever an on-screen character. I don't remember him being, but that was a little bit before well, my time. You know what? You know what? You know you can look at it like that, and and some guys are, you know, uh, you know, honorary, you know, as far as Hall of Fame go, they're respected to the point to where they um, have done so much for the business. Um, so you, you, you know, you immortalize them, right? You know, um, and and so and and. Someone like yourself, you, you know, you're way too young to understand what Jim Barnett, you know, did and was for the business and, and a lot of the boys, you know. Um, so from the outside looking in, you know, you, a lot of people don't know Jim Barnett. They may not think he, he deserves to be in. But um, there again, being in the business, um, some people get in for certain reasons, and, and perhaps this is why Eric Bischoff is getting in. Like I said, I'm not. I can't take away the uh, take away uh, anything Bischoff did. He did a. I tell you, I, I put Bischoff over more than anybody. People, you know, in the chat, they may think you know I'm, I'm a hater towards Bischoff, go, but Bischoff did me right um, throughout my whole career. Um, Bischoff made sure almost that I was protected. That that I was the guy that was gonna, um, no matter you know who came in, um, they wasn't gonna you know bury Booker T. Um, Eric Bischoff did that for me. Um, I know um, for for a long time, you know it was a probably a question mark in a lot of people's head should be, should Booker T be the world champion, um, but you know he, he was there and he played a role as far as that went as well and he was always happy for me when i became um you know heavyweight champion so um i have nothing but love um for eric bischoff eric bischoff and i last time we talked uh um when we was on the jerry cruise you know nothing but you know nothing but you know hugs and kisses uh but 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 i'm just trying to i'm just trying to figure out what 
you know, criteria uh, is needed to be in the Hall of Fame uh, as a from a working perspective. Because, like I say, I look at football, I look at basketball, I look at baseball, and and I look at the guys that goes into the Hall of Fame. Um, Eric Bischoff, there again, uh, he's going in. It's that simple. Uh, Nate with the ten dollars super chat says they need to have a spot in the Hall of Fame for contributors to the product. Bischoff, Long, Heyman. Cornette fit better in that role, in my opinion. Um, you know, you know, when the Ultimate Warrior, you know, God rest his soul, when he was still around, his original idea for the Warrior Award was for that specific purpose. People who may not have had the greatest in-ring career or on-camera career, but they contributed to the business in a very significant way. And yeah. um, that was his idea for the Warrior Award. And now it's kind of changed a little bit, and it's more of a humanitarian award, which I think is great. But um, that was his original idea, and I think that that would be a good thing to have. I think that people like we just talked about the referees, the Mike Kyoto's, the Earl and Dave. Uh, I mean, you know, Nate, Nate the, is Nate Tim is one of, my, Nate is exactly Nate is one hundred percent right. Mm -hmm. He's one hundred percent right, and that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking I about. I agree with that too. Because it, it you don't want to you don't want to step on the toes of, of the guys that actually put the boots on. Um, you know, so we're. Just say, for instance, when, you know, I, I just saw somebody um, said Donald Trump, you know, he, you know, he got in, you know, we're not offended um, from the, you know, celebrity wing side of the Hall of Fame, you know, because a lot of those guys contributed a lot like Snoop Dogg. He should be in, you know, yeah, Snoop, Snoop, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson. Uh, yeah, I'm serious, you know, so Pete I, Rose. Pete Rose, I think Pete is in. I think, yeah, yeah Pete uh, Rose is in. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, yeah, my thing is, um, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to conversate here, guys. Just trying to uh, create some good conversation. That's what we do here so, inside the Hall of Fame. It's a little different. It's a little different than most. <laughs> I we, wonder. We definitely. I, I wonder how many people are going to be inducted this year because they're doing 2020 and 2021, right? Well, who all have they said already? So, oh, you do you know something that I don't know? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> guys, I, see, guys, I was trying to trip him up. You know, I was trying to trip him up a little bit. Maybe he would. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Uh, I think they've only announced two. I think only okay. two have been announced. It, it's okay. definitely been um, Molly Holly, Molly and Holly. Eric Bischoff. Okay, Eric I'm Bischoff. not going to say no, no, nobody's name. Then I yeah, but then the, the 20. Well, I tell you, I tell you guys, I can tell you this. You ready to get excited? Oh, yeah? Yeah. How excited? Very excited. Like, like, oh man, I wonder who. You know who Mick was making a case for? Did you see Mick Foley who that? today on Twitter? Mick Foley says Lex Luger deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. Hmm. And I actually I so. 1,000% you know agree with that. I, I totally agree. Uh, Lex yeah. Luger, um, his uh, contribution to the business has um, definitely um, rose to the Hall of Fame stats as far as I'm concerned. Um, I got a chance to work with Lex Luger at his best and his worst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but as far as um, a guy who was a game changer, man, Lex Luger was definitely uh, a game changer, you know, when he was, you know, at the top of the game. And What's up? This Booker T, two-time Hall of Famer. I know you're checking out the shine, checking out the gloss. I want to thank you guys for checking out Row on YouTube. Hey, don't forget to click and subscribe to check out all the latest content right here each and every week. Now, can you dig that, sucker?